<clears throat> hey guys, what's up? This is Jayzan. This is Royal Quest. This is a new MMO. It's a free-to-play MMO. I, I generally um, ignore reviewing most of these free-to-play games because they're usually crap and just kind of don't say anything about them. But <clears throat> this one's a little different um, in the free-to-play world of, uh, I could say low budget, but I think it's probably got like a mid-budget rather than like your usual low budget browser camo where it's like just junk. <clears throat> you you if you play a lot of free to play MMOs, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Royal Quest is a little different and I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, this is a game by 1C and Katori. Uh, 1C published um, a series called Kings of Bounty, which was a strategy a strategy RPG uh, with good music, good visuals. It was uh, it was a really good game also, good series, um, and if you like strategy RPGs, I highly check out King's Bounty, but, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, um, but this is a uh, uh, next thing on their line, it's it's a little bit generic, but it's also pretty fun, and for being free, it's, uh, it's a good time killer, and it's um, definitely worth the check if you're um, on, the, on the edge, on the board, so anyway, I'm going to log in. On the border of uh, checking out. So, um, there's uh, a couple. We'll go into the cash shop type stuff later. But um, this, uh, you get a free premium account when you sign up to the website. Free sign up, <clears throat> which uh, gives you a bunch of things. And then, uh, so I made a, I made a female character. Uh, she's a sniper. And she's level 20, you become a sniper. At level 20, you uh, can change your class, like a lot of uh, of the lower quality MMOs, um, halfway through. And uh, let's, let's just create a character real quick. So this is uh, your character selection. You have a warrior, archer, rogue, and mage. Warriors can become crusader and dark knights. Archers can become snipers and hunters. Uh, rogues can become thieves or assassins. And mages can become sorcerers and warlocks. They all play pretty much like you'd expect them to um, in a point-click action free-to-play. <clears throat> um, there's a few differences in some of the classes, like the Warriors get the Crusaders of Darkness get specific mounts. They're like in like a fantasy game, it's like a steed, like it would be a horse, but in this game, it's like dragons and like other monsters that they can mount, and archers uh, get like cool weapons and stuff and there aren't very many mages I haven't seen many mages walking around and same with rogues uh, for the most part a lot of people play warriors and archers and this is a <clears throat> definitely not a super in-depth review because I've only played as the archer and I've only seen some other classes and I'm only level 20 so take that as you as you might uh, so your character selection you have a, a fair amount of options I mean they're not super crazy but it's there you can change your face, change your skin to like colors like blue, and uh, then you get the males and females. Um, Estra, and that works. All right, so um, I'll just do a little bit of uh, early game real quick to show you guys what that is. <clears throat> We'll do Astron, Astron and Mage at the training hall. This is all going to look very familiar. The art style is a little bit, it's nicer. Nicer than your usual uh, point and click uh, MMO. And um, the animations are very smooth. The music's very nice. Alright, maybe I will just skip past this tutorial stuff. All right. Well, here's the quest system. You go in, and it's the same sort of thing as you'd expect. Do do this, kill some stuff, gather stuff. Uh, uh, nothing too crazy. Um, so we'll go into the chest and grab this. The tutorial is pretty short, so. All right. Get some stuff. We'll go out here and kill some enemies. So how it is? All you have to do is click one. I like the way the auto attack is in this game because all you have to do. You click and then you can like let your mouse go. You don't have to hold the button down or click a ton of times. Uh, you have your um, <clears throat> your skill bar here that um, is just like uh, a lot of MMOs. 
Good wow. And then, um... Alright. Killed five. Alright, quest is finished. Killed five enemies. The crafting system in the game is very di confusing and difficult. Um... If you want, if you're looking for an MMO that you can craft in, don't don't play this because there's not really much in the lines of crafting. All right, summon the newbie town. So, just about every NPC has a store. Uh, they sell potions and items and the equipment, and all that sort of stuff. Um, backpack your space is a huge issue in this game. If you don't, if you're if you're a free to play player, you're gonna have problems. You're gonna run out of space very fast. I mean, there's only 14 spaces per slot. Um, loot is usually what you're running out of space because loot goes into your crafting items. You need a, sh a hell of a lot of uh, loot items in there. Um, and you do get storage, but it all runs out pretty fast. Uh, that's one of the ways that this game gets you. I mean, it is free to play, so take that as you will, but uh, they got to make the money somehow. But this loot space is really bad. Uh, that's probably one of my biggest complaints about this game is the loot space. Uh, your backpack storage is just too small. Even on free to play standards, it's too small. But aside from that, the game is fairly fun. So let's pick up a quest. Alright, so this guy wants me to get some flowers and gather. Let's gather quest. Alright. Um, so, one of the crafting things um, that this game has is item improvement the plus one through whatever just like your usual uh, uh, KMMO and, and a lot of the browser ones you're you get plus uh, equipment plus one to three is usually pretty easy and then it, it gives you a very clear percent which is nice it's not like a maybe it's like 10% or it'll say like 90 10 and like under 1% and that goes up as you as you level it up and, and it can break and all that sort of stuff and so uh, that's not too wonderful, but and then there's alchemy, which um, is a, a type of the crafting system as well. And then you get recipes that are random drops uh, later that uh, let you create items. Um, this store thing, it's it's. I'm not a big fan of setting up your own stalls, but this game kind of does it a little more cleanly, except for this very beginning area. When you get to the main towns, I'll show you with my other character on how they organize the shops. It's like very organized and road, so it's not like a ton of clusterfuck like that. So here's the uh, the main area of the game. Gathering reagents, fighting enemies. Enemies, there's very, they're, they're pretty plentiful. Um, there are rare enemies that spawn that will kick your ass, which I like. Um, Leveling is pretty easy in this game as well. It doesn't take too long to level up. Um, when you level up, let's see. Okay, I can level up. So I gain three hidden health, four attributes, and a talent point. So the leveling system in this game, uh, you get uh, four attributes that you can choose from. Um, it's different for your character uh, by your class. This is a uh, yeah. There are different stats by class. <laughs> but as you raise your intelligence, increase your attack. But also, these four down here, every 10 intellect that you have, you'll gain 15 attack. Every 10 dexter you have, you gain 2.5 attack speed. So you can raise these up as well. Um, it's a secondary thing as you raise other stuff. Like, um, let's raise stamina. So as you raise this, um, you, you'll gain your bonuses and stuff like that. So we'll leave, we're just gonna do this. I don't really plan on playing this character, but so now I have uh, one in athlete, which gives me 30 mana for every 10 stamina. Uh, so I have I have more mana now to cast spells, and uh, so then you have the talent system, which is sort of like um, um, set Dungeons Dragons of uh, the free play I'm <laughs> never winner or no, not that. I don't know you guys know what I'm talking about, but uh, so. It, how it has like your multiple classes and stuff. So you you start off until level 20, which takes literally I get to level 20 in my first session of like maybe three or four hours. So it's pretty easy to get to level 20, and that's when you can choose your your subclass. But you can choose your 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 traits, which um, 
build upon themselves and eventually you get your ultimate trait for whatever class you're, you're raising. This increased the or decreased the cooldown of potion use or um, increased my movement attack speed. Uh, it just decreases, I mean, the enemies. And then you have uh, abilities that unlock automatically on the biome or to train them or anything. They just unlock, auto unlock automatically. And then when you uh, get your next classes, like Sorcerer, if you choose Sorcerer, you have Elma Healing and Illusion, which gives you all these abilities and traits. And then you have Warlock, which gives you Devastation, Faith, and Madness. And if you if you don't spend any points by level 20, you can max out one full tree. Uh, that's what I did with my Archer. I didn't do anything in my first thing. I saved my points till I hit 20, and then uh, chose one of those. Now this game has a lot of ways to respec your, your abilities. It's it, it's they they're very friendly with that. Um, there's an NPC that you find that um, that will uh, just reset your traits for free, and then you find items on the in the game that will let you reset your traits at the level 20. So you can mess around with your skills until level 20. Um, PvP in this game is kind of a, a pain in the ass from what I've experienced so far. You have to um, group up. You have to find groups and enter this uh, PvP. Uh, PvP, P PvP PvE area. It's like a, a dungeon, kind of like the same size as this this map here. I'm up here, right here. Um, and you walk around and you gather items, gain experience, and as you kill enemies and get the items they drop, if you get killed by other players or if you kill other players, everything gathered at in that area drops to the ground. Um, and so your goal is to try and find a portal like this in the PvP area while gathering the loot from the enemies. There's quests that send you in to gather the loot, and you gain specific PvP currency, which is which gets you really good items and recipes and stuff. It's definitely there. So if you have friends or uh, have a group or something, then PvP is uh, probably better for you than than me who likes to kind of play alone. Um, Basically, when you go on PvP alone, you're gonna get ganked by like groups of people instead of like one-on-one. -on -one. So take that as you will. So I've all right. So I learned that ability. Um, the map system is pretty good. It's very clear. If you want to move over here, you can just click that. My got auto path over to there, and um, which is kind of nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. And then there's abilities that let you uh, leap and stuff, which uh, teleport you. Then you have portal, which also teleports you. Leap is uh, like a dash skill. It's a good way to get around. Um, so let me let me uh, go back to my other character, my main character. I just want to show you character creation stuff with this one. All right. Don't know what that was about. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna log into my, my sniper. Jane Zan the sniper. Uh, I do die a lot in this game, which is good because um, dying means the game is actually a little bit challenging. So here's your quest log. Uh, it shows you what quests you can get and what quests you do have. And for instance, it'll tell you very, very clearly where you need to go. Like to do this, I need to go up here, which is out here, and then it shows you like almost exactly where they're at. And then um, these ones are gonna send me down. So we're gonna go south here. So the town, these little squares here. As I was talking about the shops, the player shops, you can set up your kiosks on these squares only. So it keeps it um, like these right here and there. It keeps it organized, so it's not all like a thousand of them right in this little corner here. I actually kind of like how they did that with the player shot thing. Also, it's not just those kiosks. You, um, there's also an auction house system. So you have your kiosks, and then the auction house will sh will take everything that are in the kiosks and list them like uh, like an auction system, which is really cool in my opinion. So you can have up to a certain amount of quests. I think I, I have like 30 quests or something. Yeah, <clears throat> 10 of 30 which increases with your premium account. The premium account, which you get when you first start and by paying a, probably a subscription fee, is uh, this. It gives you 
50% more XP, 50% more item drops, uh, 10 more max quests on your in your log, uh, free teleporting, um, a portal skill which is the teleport back to town, which is useful but not super important. And then uh, if you die, um, you, loot, you get a weakened effect which lasts for a minute instead of 10 minutes. So it's nothing too super powered, but it's definitely a convenience thing. And I'm almost considering getting it. We'll see how far I am because I'm really enjoying this game. All right, so let's go over here and we'll go we'll go do this quest. So my quest log over here, I have I have to get boars, bat wings, and um, mantis. That's what I'm gonna do. Mantis. Uh, what else is there to talk about in this game? There's there's a couple other things. I'm trying to remember though. I don't know. If really, there's a lot. It, it's a very simple game. I mean. It's not super complex like your huge big budget MMOs, but it's fun enough. It keeps you entertained, keep, kept me entertained, and I'm pretty pretty strict about my free to plays. Uh, the cash shop isn't doesn't seem to be that overpowered. I mean this premium account thing is understandable um, because. they need to make money and it's not required and those bonuses are a little bit of a convenience factor but it's not too crazy I mean it's pretty good it's good enough for me to want to like want to pay for it and it's, it's good that they give it to you for free so you can try out the game without um, just seeing it and getting pissed off that it's there but you don't know what it, if it's really worth it well you can try it out so yeah, PvP is not super balanced from what I have experienced myself, but PvE is pretty fun. And this would be something fun to, to kill some time before Arcage comes out. Or if you just look for something fun to play for a little while, something to level up with. So yeah, this is a roller quest, check it out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to try it out. Um, you can get it on Steam. So thanks guys for watching, this is Jason. See you next time.